Hi, my name is Teresa and you're watching Between Two Wheels. How you doing today? Hope everybody's good. It's a little rainy here in the northeast of the United States, but you know, spring is here and it is all good. So I am going to start out my day with answering a couple of questions. Um, I've received a whole lot of questions um, and I'm going to do, maybe this will be a two-parter, I don't know, we'll see what uh, how this goes. So first of all, let me just check in. I just got back from the gym about 10 minutes ago. I'll tell you, I'm having some increased in energy. Um, don't know what to contribute it to. Could it just be a good MS day? Could it be some results of the steroids? Could it just, I, I don't know. That Again, that's... Uh, uh, one of the mysteries of MS. Some days are good, some days aren't so good. Um, it's just an up and down course. So, you know, with that, it uh, sometimes uh, planning things, um, especially in advance, planning events, planning different different functions, it can be difficult because, um, and I try not to plan too much ahead because, you know, I just don't know how I'm going to be feeling um, and I don't like to commit to something and then, you know, the day comes and either I'm just not having a good MS day or stress is involved or whatever factors. Uh, and, um, and then I sometimes have to cancel things, but that doesn't happen too often because most of my friends and, and, um, you know, anything that I do, I either, you know, doctors, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. I have some questions that I've had. So here they go. Um, the first was the age thing. I was diagnosed when I was 32 years old. Um, I had symptoms probably at least three years prior to that. Just some stuff. And I'm going to go into that when I tell my whole story of, of and I promise I'm going to do that. So yeah, I was 32 years old when I was diagnosed. I am right now 48 years old, and I'm proud to be 48 years old. Um, again, what what kind of MS? Um, I've mentioned this. I have what they call chronic progressive MS or or uh, primary progressive MS. Um, there's about I think it's on a scale maybe uh, 15 to 20 percent of people that that are diagnosed within that. Um, there's like I think four different four different categories of MS that you can be labeled in, and I am in that one. What kind of what medication am I on? Um, as far as MS medication, um, right now I am on a pill called um, Gelenium. It's a 0.5 milligrams of Gelenium. It's fairly new. It came out, I believe, in around the early part of 2010. Um, I was lucky enough to be chosen um, through my neurologist and the whole team to be one of the first within within the, the team to to be selected to go on this. And you know, I was on injectables. Um, I've been on a bunch of pills and a bunch of uh, different uh, MS. There, there's, there are MS pills called the ABC drugs, which are the injectables, and there's a few more injectables. But I had been on beta-seron at one time, um, copaxone at one time, um, and again with the type of MS that I have, the, the chronic progressive, um, it just didn't work for me. And the gelenium, you know, it's hard to, you know, who's to say if something is working or not. Um, if I wouldn't be on it, would I be worse? Would I be better? So, and as far as side effects, I have had no side effects. I don't, not that I'm aware of, through the gelenium. When I first went on it, I had to be monitored. Um, the first few times, it's a daily pill I take every day. Um, because it can do some funky stuff to your heart and you have to really monitor that. So again, I'm on Gelenium 0.5. I also take um, 
oxybutyn, which is a bladder control pill. Um, a lot of people with MS, we do suffer from bladder problems because of the muscles in there weaken, and it just it's a part of part of the whole MS thing. Uh, I take I do take, I don't like to admit this, but I do take an antidepressant pill. I take Lexapro. Um, depression and disease, they, you know, it's a tough thing. So I do take that. I don't, you know, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I do suffer from some anxiety sometimes, and I do have some Xanax. I don't take it throughout the day. I find it that when I do take it, um, it really makes me like feeling kind of blah. That's what Xanax does. It makes it suppresses like the I don't know. It just helps you with anxiety and stress. When I do take that, is in the evening um, when I'm in, in my comfy chair, relaxed, and it kind of just helps my muscles relax. And I use it as a sleep aid too. I I maybe take one a day if if that sometimes. Yeah, one a day. But I don't use that throughout my day. I would rather deal with some kind of the anxiety or stress that I'm under than to feel, you know, just depleted. Um, I take a vitamin B um, complex um, pill and I take a high dose of vitamin B3, um, a prescription of that. Um, because there's a lot of lot of studies about vitamin D and MS, and and there's just a lot. So I take that, and I take some cranberry pills. Um, do they help with bladder? I I don't know, but I do take them, and I take a probiotic, um, and pretty much other than that, I do not take anything. I don't take anything for my nerve pain, for my spasticity that I get. For my fatigue, I don't take anything I have in the past, like I've said, um, but no, I just, I choose not to, and again, it it works for me. Um, now, right out of the gate, when I first started this, I got some questions about my wheelchair. So I'm just going to give you some stats about my wheelchair. It is an Invacare TDXP tilt system. Um, it has this cool headrest. I have cut out arms. You know what? You know what I might do here? Let's see here. I just might back up. Yeah, I'm in tilt a little. Just bear with me here, folks. Just going to back up a little. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the whole thing here. I hope you can hear my voice. Uh, just do a loop de loop here of my chair. I know this isn't very good. I'll probably and there we go. Um, it does tilt. Uh, I can go back fairly far in this, and which uh, this is my second wheelchair that that I've had. Um, my first wheelchair about five years ago, I believe, maybe five years ago, was uh, not a tilt. It was just kind of a basic chair. Uh, but this one, this one goes back fairly, I mean, it goes back pretty far. Far enough that I can freak people out when I go back. They get all scared, and you know. But it's great for um, when I want to relieve, like, my butt and my legs that some pressure can go get off my lower back and off my butt and um, it uh, yeah and, it, and it's it just kind of opens me up my chest up and I can bring my arms back and it's great over at the gym because when I lift weights I can just you know tilt the chair back and it's great it's really great when I go to get up because you know uh, when I go to stand up I can tilt it back a little and kind of scoot my butt up and it, that's all good. Um, so yeah, my, my arm rests. They uh, when I go back in my chair, sometimes I don't have, I can't hold my arms like on my armrest, so they're kind of cupped that I can 
that my elbows fit 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 in too nicely and they're comfortable um you know everything everything is really comfortable let me go on here cut out arms um a gel gel batteries i don't know um i don't know about the batteries it we do plug it in like every three nights um it just regular battery plugs in to a little port here um I have foam tires. They're not air tires. In the past, I have had air tires, and I have had punctures. So one time, I had a when I was out and about, it I had something got in it, a nail or something, and I was down. I had a down tire, so that wasn't good. So now I have foam tires, and it rides. It rides great. It really does. Um, I have a like a deep heavy duty back to it that has a nice cushion that can you can manipulate the air in that to where you want it. Um, it's a multiple four drive joystick, and here's the the make of it. It's MX6I uh, version two three one. Um, you know it has four gears and. It has a little rabbit and turtle over here next to it, uh, an on and off switch, the the tilt switch thing, and this puppy can go pretty fast. I mean, I think I can go like at least seven, seven or eight miles an hour. So when I'm out and about and doing stuff, it can go pretty fast. But I am able to manipulate it around and move around my house really easy. It's like a, a zero radius, so it can just kind of spin. It's really cool. Uh, I'll tell you, guys like it. When you go out and you start showing them this, you know, guys are always impressed because there are cool shocks in the back and all kinds of stuff. And I've carried kids on the back of my wheelchair, our neighbor kids. They've been on the back. And, um, you know, it's a heavy duty chair. It weighs, and it weighs a lot. I don't know, a bunch of hundreds of pounds. Um, now, the, the essential part of any wheelchair and anybody in a wheelchair will tell you is the cushion. Um, if you are not in the right cushion, um, first of all, this is a chair that is was made for me, specially for me, for my dimensions, for my the length from my hip to my to my knees and down and just everything. I know you can get chairs and scooters online that just come to you and. I don't know anything about that. I'm fortunate enough that I'm able to have one that was custom made for me. Um, I have the swing out uh, foot rest things. There's some that one comes out in the middle and you rest your feet. But for me, I have some problems like kind of keeping my legs together at times. Um, so it just this is what works for me. Uh, they come off, they easily come off. So the cushion. My cushion is a Roho, it's a R-O-H-O, -O, uh, Quattro Select. Um, and what that means is it's an air cushion and they're like these little cores all over and it's cut up into four sections. And then I'm able, we have a pump, so I'm able to pump it up and let's say I favor one side or or I have some, you know, problems with something. I want more air on one side or the other, you know. So I'm able to control that. Each core is separately is separate. You can put each, and um, you know, I like. And everybody likes their cushion different. I'm I'm told I like a nice kind of firm cushion. And I'm telling you, I'm a professional sitter. And when you sit all day. In, 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 in a chair, I, I can't stress the importance of a comfortable cushion. Now, you know, all this is really, really expensive, and that is determined on your insurance and what you can afford and all that. Again, I, I'm just really blessed when it comes to all that. Um, I never get, I never get sore. I never hurt now occasionally I can feel something weird and that, and that when I do feel that I catch it right away put air in the cushion because I have gone through where I've let it go and then I can get lower back problems um, 
even shoulder problems. So proper alignment in your chair, proper posture, you know, that your back, you feel great, your head, you have, you know, headrest and stuff. Some people, now a lot of times when I go out and about, I take the headrest off just because to be honest, for me, it's like, well, I'll, let, I'll look less, less handicapped, less disabled if I have the headrest off. I don't know. It's a vanity thing, I guess. But for the most part, when I go over the gym or anything, I keep the headrest on. And um, it just works well when I'm doing different weights and different stuff like that. So let me check my time. Holy cow, I'm at like 15 minutes. Okay, we'll go a little bit longer here. Um, again, I don't mean to be coming off where I'm rushing or anything. I'm not rushing, I'm German. Um, okay, I got a question about alternative therapies. Like, do I, ha have I done in the past or do I do any kind of alternative therapies? Well, as far as, you know, every, as far as alternative therapy, um, like I've never done acupuncture or of you know different holistic stuff like that for me alternative therapies kind of are in three categories just for me and the first one alternative therapy I use again my positive attitude uh, no my my positive outlook is not going to cure my MS but I have found that it has lessened the, my stress and just overall bettered my health and my well-being. So I consider that, you know, my attitude, one of my alternative therapies that I practice every single day, every moment, you know, with my attitude, always checking in, always just staying, staying happy, staying positive and realizing, you know, how, how fortunate I am and how things could always always be worse always and for that I'm just e extremely grateful um, another th another th thing for the for the quote alternative therapies I use is exercise um, whether that be yoga or uh, you know because yoga I'm focused on the breath and just relaxing um, um, it also helps with stress and just uh, my my energy. I'm always constantly aware of my energy and the balance with that and work with flexibility. Now I do chair yoga. Um, we had chair yoga in the summer. I'm not currently doing it right now, but um, we did a chair yoga and I found it helpful. Uh, yes, I couldn't do a lot of the moves, but I modified. I did what I could do, and uh, it was fine. And even if I sat in there for an hour and focused on my breathing and my posture and uh, just sending out, you know, good energy, then, you know, I, I always modify everything, everything I do. But exercise, yeah, keeping, you know, strength, uh, 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 bleh my strength, my, just keeping my body moving all the time. Um, yeah, doing weights, um, um, cardio, uh, cardio uh, keeping my cardio up, you know, I, because I want to burn off, it's hard when you're in a chair to, uh, to get your heart rate up, to burn calories, to, you know, and that's essential, you know, um, to keep yourself going. And, just trying to keep my body as toned as possible and and uh, I work all different and I, I, I do want to show you some of my routines and I want to take the camera and the video over and um, just show you and again I am a, in, in a wonderful environment with a gym and a rehab um, and a lot of the, the a lot of a lot of the you know things over there we modify we I, they help me get into a, a back machine that, do crunches, uh, arms, but there again, you can do stuff at home. Just, you know, turn on some music and just get your body moving, you know, and who cares what, if you dance like Elaine, who cares? 
I'm the, I'm the worst dancer in the world, but man, I just get in here and some days turn on this music and just get going. Or I play Wii. I do Wii tennis and, you know, anything just to keep myself moving. So, yes, that's another, quote, alternative uh, therapy I use. And the last, uh, it's I really haven't discussed it, but for me, it's how I keep this whole thing in balance is my diet, my lifestyle of choice of what I put into my body. And, um, you know, just the importance of staying health, healthy with a well-balanced diet. Um, I'm going to dedicate a whole, a whole uh, video to that and the importance of that in my life. And I think in anybody who has any kind of disease, or everybody in life, really. But, um, yeah. Uh, but those three areas are are the most important um, areas in my life. Again, the, the just attitude, staying positive, the exercise, get yourself moving, and, you know, your your food, what, what, what you put into your body. Um, so, yes, that is that. Let me see. Time. Yikes, I'm at 21 minutes. Let me just go. I'm looking for ones that I've had repeat. Um, do I have kids? No, I don't have kids. Um, I'm kind of I'm happy I don't have kids. I've never felt like I had to reproduce and have children. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Clothes. Do I do I do I buy any special wheelchair clothing? No, I don't. I, uh, you know, throughout my week day, I, because I know there are companies out there that have wheelchair clothing, and that's an area I want to get into too, especially with women in wheelchairs, you know, because there's a whole issue, you know, of when you are in a wheelchair, uh, and that whole femininity thing that you kind of can lose of it's it's a weird thing. It's just you know of trying to still stay feminine and but having this thing kind of around you and uh, I've never been one to really uh, I don't know just caught up in all that. But no, I do not order any special clothing or I'm always looking for shorter shorter coats, shorter shirts. Um, I can't have really anything long and. Um, throughout the week, I kind of wear sweatpants at times because I go to the gym, like I said, about five days a week and casual clothes. But then on the weekends or occasionally I change my clothes during the day. I don't like to do that because it just requires a lot of energy to, uh, to change clothes. Um, but I do like to, you know, dress nice. Just, but I'm a jean and sweater, t-shirt, Oxford kind of girl. That's just always been me so I'm not a heel and a dress and all that that's that's not me and you know that's okay but um how tall am I I am five eight and a half how much do I weigh I weigh like a hundred and forty anywhere between a hundred and forty three and a hundred and forty seven ish uh, somewhere around there I guess and it's okay for me um, it works for me um, I would like to knock off well, it's not a, my weight is never about a number or a size. It's about a feel and what I'm, what I feel healthy with. Uh, I don't get caught up in all that weight stuff. So tattoo, they want to know about my tattoo. I do have, I have a tattoo on my ankle of a butterfly. I got 30, I don't know, a whole bunch of years ago. Um, it's kind of just a regular old and I have a tattoo here and it says imagine and then underneath there it is music notes in the shape of like a, of a star I don't know if you can see it so yes um, does it have any symbol does it mean anything um, no I just I love the song imagine and I love the Beatles and John Lennon and I just you know I like it 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 is what it is. I don't think I'd ever get any more. Even though I think about it sometimes. Getting, I don't know. Um, oh, what else? Somebody wants to know my sign. I'm an Aquarius. 
Um, and I got a couple of weird questions too that I don't know. There's some weird people out there, and I just you know it's really that I'm not here for any of that kind of crap. Uh, what's my favorite quote? Somebody wants to know what my favorite quote was. I don't know. I think like happiness is a choice, or you know we are what we think about all day long. Um, I'm a big quote girl. I like all kinds of quotes. Anything inspirational or just make you think or stuff like that. Um, the reason you joined YouTube. Well, uh, the reason I joined YouTube was <sighs> kind of for three reasons, I think. One, maybe to uh, help somebody who doesn't know about MS um, or is in a wheelchair and you know, just and just to kind of go back and forth. Anybody has any questions about it? Uh, anybody wants to give me some stuff about it? Talk, communicate, keep an open forum here. Um, and I think I just wanted to do it for myself too, maybe document some of my journey here. And uh, then I committed to the 30-day challenge and you know, it was rough at the beginning because I, I've been all over the place and with the last couple of weeks with the steroids and stuff. And I'm really glad, you know, and to draw awareness too, to um, let people know that a little bit about MS, like I mentioned before, you know, even some of my family and friends that don't know about it. And, um, yeah, and I'm kind of, I just have that personality too that you can ask me anything, well, almost anything, that that guy that wrote me, blah, 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 blah. no, yuck, um, but, uh, yeah, let me see what I'm out here, I know I'm like way over time, holy cow, okay, we'll go to 30 minutes, um, so, yeah, kind of, yeah, reasons like that, um, how long does it take you in the shower, well, I talked about that the other day, it can take, beginning from, the beginning to the end, um, and the end means after I come out of the shower, then I brush my teeth and, and you know, do my hair. Um, usually like an hour and a half to, to maybe even an hour 45. Um, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, when I'm not taking a shower, when I'm just doing my regular routine, um, you know what? I'm going to... Let's go back to that other question. How, how long does it take you in the shower? Well, with the shower and then, like I said, the teeth and the hair um, and then the actual getting dressed and everything, I'm going to push, push it on like maybe two, a little over two hours. So I forgot about the getting dressed. I do need help getting dressed. My mother helps me. Um, and yeah. My mom helps me get dressed, uh, getting everything from my bra to tying my shoes. I can do a little bit, but, you know, I'm dependent on somebody. Uh, oh, I did have a question about independence. Like, what's the what's the one thing that, you oh, know, where the heck is it? I'm sorry, I'm not very, what's the latest book you read? Somebody wants to know. Um, I am in the process, which I have been in the process, one of my goals uh, for, I kind of started a little bit later last year with this goal, and I started in the late summer, is to read the Bible. So I am reading the Bible. Right now I took a little break because it's winter and I like to read when I'm outside. So I, yes, I am in the process of reading the Bible, um, Old and New Testament, and uh yeah, that's quite the journey. So that is the latest, last book I've read. But I am again a self-help junkie. I every um, I'm I read all the time and try and pick up little tidbits here and there in life. And uh, what's your favorite piece of jewelry? Um, I thought that interesting because somebody mentioned this crystal that I have on that I tend to play with a lot and I don't realize it. I have had this crystal for probably 20, I don't know, 30, a very, very long time. And 
it just yesterday when I took when I had to do my MRI, I had to take this off. It was the first time it was off in probably two and a half years, and it was like, oh no. And I have another piece of jewelry that's um, I don't wear all the time, but a dear dear friend sent to me after um, the loss of my dog uh, last. Uh, no, not last. Uh, yeah, last. Well, just uh, at Christmas um, of last year, and I love it. And that's probably besides the crystal. That's probably it. Uh, so again, this was probably uh, this is like thirty minutes. I think I'm going to stop right now. Um, some people want to know about like how do I when I'm out in public in my wheelchair, you know, how do I find that? Well, that's kind of that's such a tough question, you know, with the whole what's handicap accessible, what's not, you know, something on the exterior can be handicap accessible and then once you get into an interior it can be not accessible at all and just restrooms and parking places and you know, so I'm going to talk about that later because that can be kind of frustrating and, um, you know, difficult at times. So, okay, I am going to stop. I'm sorry this was kind of all over the place, but I promise this Q&A. If you have any more questions, you know, shoot them at between two wheels at gmail.com. Oh, somebody wanted to know how I got the name. Well, it's just, you know, I live life between two wheels. You know, I just was thinking one day and I thought, you know, this is my life and I'm between two wheels. So, uh, and I Googled it and between two, the number two was taken by um, a motorcycle company. So I went with the two as TWO and bought the domain and, and there we go. So that's that. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me check in once again and Look at this. I can do this today. This and this is coming. I just came back from the gym, so and I'm feeling pretty pumped. I'm kind of excited, and it's a great day. Had a great MS meeting last night. Awesome. Um, and that's that. So have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. And thanks if you're if you're still if you're still here and watching. Oh, bless you. Bye.